Trevor, Harry Kane can equal or better Wayne Rooney's record of goals in competitive matches for England this weekend. In your view, I mean, you have to think, what's he got? He's got 41 England goals today. 36 have come in competitive uh, internationals. In other words, qualifiers, major tournaments. I mean, the record's incredible. But what is more career-defining, Trev? Milestones in the history books or trophies in the cabinet? Well, I think when you're talking about Harry Kane and Wayne Rooney and we're talking about top goal scorer, I think it's who is the top goal scorer. I think that's the important thing for strikers. Well, what's Rooney got? He's got 53, right? Yeah, so, so, so he's winning yeah. at the moment. But Kane's got a long time to go. When you're talking about defining moments and, and what you've achieved at international level, yeah. it's, it's definitely Harry Kane. He's been to a semi-final of the Euros. Uh, sorry, a semi-final of the World, World Cup, Cup. Final of the Euros. And he's been in a much more successful English national team than Wayne Rooney was. It was a golden era or the golden generation. Never quite happened, whether that's to do with the managers, whether yeah, that's to do with the injuries. This, you could say the same about this England team. But they've got a lot closer. And I know they've not, <laughs> I know they've not got... Up. Listen, 2004, I think if Wayne Rooney stays fit in that tournament, he was sensational. That was when I just thought, this, this boy is very special. He broke his metatarsal. We didn't end up doing anything in that tournament. I think you need a little bit of luck. Harry Kane didn't have that luck in the in the final game of the Euros against Italy, in my so, opinion. So, so for you, Harry Kane, although he trails Rooney in terms of international goals scored, Harry Kane has already eclipsed Rooney in delivering as a more influential England player, England captain. I think apart from goals, yes. I think apart from goals, yes. But goals, goals are the staple diet for both of them. Well, he's got a bit to go there, hasn't he? But when you look at the England squad, how progressive it's been since Gareth Southgate took over, how the uh, performances and the results have improved and the, the distance and the depth in which they've got into tournaments, I have to say Harry Kane has been the better captain. Oof. So, do you go with that, No, Simon, that Kane has eclipsed Rooney in terms um, of what he's done for England? Well, it depends what you do time and influence as. It depends on influence as great leadership or do you determine you know, his goal-scoring contribution and do you determine the goals that they've scored at critical times and the value of those particular goals. Arguably, both of them are not particularly great captains. They just happen to be players that have scored a lot of goals playing for their country. So you could argue the fact that neither one of them are you know, great captains. They're both products of their own time. Harry Kane is a product of a time. It's, uh, you could uh, you could suggest that this is a golden generation. You could say Jack Grealish, Jaden Sancho, Raheem Sterling, all of these players, especially Raheem Sterling because he's world-class, right, Trev, that are, are all part of a golden generation, right? But they don't get that moniker from the media. So really and truly, the golden generation is a bit of a misnomer because we've got one now because the same level of players exist in this squad. The difference is both captains are a product of their time. England have got to semi-finals and World Cup um, and European Championship finals, should have arguably won at least one of them. Yeah. Um, and in the previous incarnation under Wayne Rooney, they didn't have the same luck of the draw. I think it's undeniable about Gareth Southgate's luck. I think he's done some really good things. I think he's brought things together more cohesively. But I think he's also been a very fortuitous coach mm. with some of the draws that he's got in the tournaments that he's got. And we could suggest that losing a European Championship final at home on penalties is a poor outcome irrespective of how good Italy are, because that game was there to be won. We had the ball We had the ball on our foot to win the game. You know, like in tennis terms, it's on your racket. It was on our foot to win that penalty yeah, shootout and yeah. win the tournament. Sure. And decisions were made. So I think whilst we, whilst it's always part and parcel of our job description to compare and contrast, I think you have to distinguish between the two of them. Rooney wasn't an out-and-out -out centre-forward. Harry Kane is. The team timings were different. Some of the opposition, I, I wonder if you compared the whole list of teams that you've played against, because some of the games that Harry Kane scored goals in, I mean, these are nigh on international pub teams. <laughs> but they are. But they're competitive they? games, though. They are competitive games, and so you can argue this. But when you go back and look at what's real goal scoring, and you look at Jimmy Greaves and people yeah, like that, you go, there you go, hold on a second. Yeah, that's yeah. a different There's level. There's John on, on, on the, the, the message board, Simon, uh, Trevor coming in there. Close but no cigar, Trevor. It's as simple as that with England, for Kane and for Rooney. Nearly men, both of them. I, that's a that's a fact because they've n never got over the line and won a, a major tournament with England. But you have to look at the performances. Some of the performances in major tournaments when Rooney was playing for England were terrible. And not not blaming Rooney for that. But you look at South Africa, it was abysmal. You look at mm. the tournament in Rio, it wasn't great. That's right. So since Harry Kane has become captain of England, the performances. And the depth in which they've gone into competition has gone way. But up. nearly men is you could you could you could, le, you could levy that against Johan Cruyff, 
You know, you, didn't, well, you can't didn't... you can't levy that against Johan Cruyff. No, you can't. But the nearly man mentality is not one anything for playing for their country. Johan Cruyff. I didn't. didn't I didn't. I didn't no, I'm talking about yeah, the caller. Yeah, absolutely. I'm talking about the caller suggesting or the texter saying that they're, they're, yeah. they're both nearly men because they didn't win anything. Or Johan Cruyff, arguably one of the greatest players the world's ever seen, playing in a wonderful Dutch team. Never won anything either. Yeah, yeah but he yeah, didn't yeah. just contribute as a player, though, did he? No. We know what he no. brought to the game. No. But, but in that same argument, well, we're to be players. honest, Simon, what is more career defining, milestones in the history books or trophies in the cabinet? Depends what you define your career by. It's a yeah. bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. Harry Kane, if, he, if he's the all time record English, England goal scorer, that will go down in the pantheons of history. Yeah. Wayne Rooney's medals at United will be looked at in a different way, but internationally, both of them are we're gonna, We're going to hit the, the bulletin in a moment. A lot of people are getting on with a very, very simple question, Trevor. This Philip, a Manchester United fan. Simple then. Who's the greater all-round footballer? Kane or Rooney? Wayne Rooney. Yeah? For me, yes. I just think he he, he was one of them players, excited the fans, um, he excited his teammates. He right. did some unbelievable things, but he was in a spectacular Manchester United But you're team. saying that Kane's already eclipsed Rooney in delivering as a more influential England captain? For me, 100%. You think both of them are in different captains? Yeah, I do. And I think ultimately, probably Trevor's right, Wayne Rooney, as an all-round package, was the better player. But you can't argue with Harry Kane's goal-scoring record. So sure. it's, you know, it's a comparison that you can pull out depending upon your perspective. And he'll get closer to eclipsing Rooney this weekend in Andorra. Of that, there is no doubt. Of that, this, there is no doubt. There's going to get a few fireworks going in here this morning. Of that, there is no doubt. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.